Right, so we sat inside a Skyleader 600 at the factory in Geolava. Um, so this is a Garmin G3X, twin Garmin G3X based aircraft. You've got your backup instruments up top, airspeed, altitude and vertical speed indicator, and your parachute pull lever, your radio, flap indicator, gear indicator, if you're being a retractable, that's the gear lever, uh, engine start, switch, fuel selector, right tank, left tank and close. So your this one's the ULS with a constant speed prop. So you've got the prop lever, choke, and your throttle. And this lever here is the flap. Even though it's quite a nice chunky uh, lever that operates uh, in electric Fowler flaps. Um, and on the stick, you've got push to dock up front, autopilot disconnect trim up and down. Uh, so, yeah, conventional arrangement. Uh, really chunky grip like that. Um, PLT and again here you've got uh, your pitch trim indicator as well. Uh, we obviously with the Garmin G3X the pitch trim motor is controlled by the G3X. Um, uh, this one doesn't have an autopilot so an autopilot controller so it's just a basic G3X system. Um, rudder pedals on both sides with uh, tow brakes um, and you got your oh, kind of a big vent on both sides the view is you know, quite good uh, you can, you've got really good visibility you can probably see all the way to a five o'clock position easily uh, it's just the rear view is just there that's the only thing blocked plenty of baggage down here there's a very deep bin at the back plus you've got plenty of room behind each seats the seats go back and forth that's, that's the forward position and that's all the way back so there's that much room behind each seat um, so it is one of the biggest uh, cabin uh, in a two-seat aircraft you'll find um, these are quite nice touches that hide the mechanism where the uh, the upper um, the canopy go slides back you got two uh, hooks for your headsets which is another nice addition um, obviously this is all painted just black to, to save the weight so you can have stick some leather on to make it a, a much nicer feel uh, like the interior trim here on both sides yeah overall I think the Skylider 600 is a great product I mean with this amount of panel space you've got lots of options you can go with a dual Garmin uh, dual Dynon uh, I've seen even seen a dual Dynon with a GTN 650 up here for full IFR operation uh, in the US, uh, the LSAs, they do training on the Skyleader 600 from uh, basic PPL all the way to ATPL uh, because you know, in the US they can't do it. Um, so why not? It's an incredible platform for training, especially with the retractable gear and a Rotax 100 horse burning 15-16 liters an hour. You can't ask for better value for a flight school um, <laughs> running one of these. Uh, you can see the quality of the finish everywhere. Pretty pretty good um, yeah and you've got obviously this one's a retractable gear and down here is the emergency pull handle if the gear doesn't deploy automatic you know uh, if there's a failure on the electrical electric uh, flap uh, gear deployment you can manually uh, retract the gear using so that's just on the pilot side um, the canopy locks e either side pilot side and pilot side it's all quite nice. I mean, let me just move the seat forward. Yeah, the stick travel is. That's the first thing I noticed about Skylider when I first ever time set footed in in it. Uh, uh, how solid the controls feel. It's such a nice feeling. It's not wobbly or it doesn't feel. It's such a positive feel uh, when you move it. Well, you know, ailerons or the elevator boats. Uh, it's all push rods, and um, I think there's no. Unlike my sling, it's done to a much higher standard. So uh, it's yeah, the feels, the controls feel really good in your hand. Um, 